Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how to do a simple pivot table and then add a percentage difference from column in that table. So I've got some data here, and this is the data that I want my pivot table to look at. So I'm in the data. If I go to the data tab and select pivot table and then insert it's picking up this whole table. There's no gap, so it's picking it up. Clicking OK to that. And then I get the pivot table window. So I want salesperson to be at the, at the top of the rows. And then I want quarter to be underneath that, like that. And then sales in there. Now, if I put location in the filter area, that is what I want. Let's have a look at that. Before I do that, though, you need to open this up. The default setting is for this to go to a new sheet. I don't want that to be the case. So I'm ticking that option there. And then you click on this little button or you can type it. And then you just basically click where you want it to start from. So there, open that back up. Click OK to that. And then you get your pivot table. So you've got your salespeople and the quarters and then a filter at the top where you can take the tick off, for example, and just tick on what you want, clicking OK to that, and you can see the information displayed there. So that's a straightforward basic pivot table. So I'm OK with that, clicking OK on that. But what I want to do now is add a second column, a second sales column, but change the, the display to percentage difference from. If I right click in here, you can go into properties and then you get back into this window. You need to bring sales into this area again, sum of sales twice. Then you need to double click on the second one. And you can see there that you've got some different options. You can do average sales, etc., and all this sort of things are there. But down the bottom where it says display displayed values, open that up. And then in there, you've got normal. This is where you need to be. You change that to percentage difference from that one. And then you select the field that you want to look at, not the date field. I want it to be the quarter column. And then it says first there, but I want it to look like this, the previous one. So I want to know what the difference is between that 52,000 and that in percentages turn. That's obviously a negative. And then what's the difference between that 10,000 and that? another negative and then that one what's the difference between that figure and that which should be a positive that's what I'm after so that that's the settings I need to select I click OK to that and then OK again and then it comes in with the the figures there now you can see that it's got minus 61 minus 80 and then there's a plus 350 percent increase on that month that quarter there now that's just how you add an extra column so if you want to change that label you can just type over it percentage difference or diff there you go you just type over and you've re renamed that so that's all i want to talk about in this video how you can create a simple pivot table with a filter showing the sales sum of sales by quarter and then how to add a percentage difference column at the end. So hopefully that information was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.